Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I made it back from Oshkosh, Wisconsin for the EAA Air Venture Flying, Driving, Camping, whatever you want to call it. It's the best place to be if you're an aviator, a family person, if you like airplanes, air shows, fireworks, camping out, hanging out, whatever you want to do, it's at Oshkosh, Wisconsin at the EAA Air Venture Flying. So it's a lot to do for a lot of different people. I just love going there. I know some people say, well, how many years do you want to go in a row? I'll go every year in a row for as long as I can, it seems like. It's just really cool to be able to go out there, land uh, on the dots, which I almost did. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Uh, but it's really a cool environment. You can leave your phones out, charge your phones, charging stations, charging your, you know, your, your, your big blocks of chargers, uh, for, I mean, big blocks of batteries for charging. Uh, great environment, kids are happy, you know, adults are happy, we're happy, pilots are happy, everybody's happy. So what a really cool event that they put on, you know, uh, 6,000 volunteers. So you want to really thank these volunteers who have to deal with us <laughs> all week long. I got to be honest with you, it's a lot going on there, a lot to do. Uh, without the volunteers, uh, it probably wouldn't happen because how much more are you going to raise prices to be paying everybody? So thank you for the EA volunteers and any volunteers who worked this event. Awesome, awesome time. But yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know. Some people think I'm crazy. They think, oh my God, how many planes do you look at? I, it's just fun. You have so much going on, especially with the ultralights, fireworks, air shows, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's just really cool. You know, even off the property, it's pretty cool. Off the airport, probably it's pretty cool. So, and hopefully you're camping underneath your wing or just, you really can't camp under my wing because I'll have a low wing, but you know, I camped in front of my wing. <laughs> so, so it was really, really cool um, event and I enjoy going out there. This is the first time, believe it or not, I went out with the Mooney, November 6th, 8, 8, 7 November, that you guys know. And uh, the first three years, I went with uh, Brian, it's Comanche 250. Uh, that's an awesome airplane as well. Uh, but it was time for the Mooney to go, and Brian kind of had to push me to take the plane. So you gotta take your own plane, and you know, that's what I did. I just did the standard 2300. I didn't do the 1800. The 1800 route was pretty busy, so I decided to do the uh, 2300 at 130 knots instead of 1800 at 90 knots. Uh, my plane was kind of heavy and I kind of felt like 90 knots would be a little bit too slow. You keep on mess with the power and everything else and there's a lot of planes down below. So uh, Joe and I uh, passed quite a few planes which that will be on the third video. So it's just a great time and again camping and landing and enjoying the event of doing it yourself especially flying in and then flying out. Uh, so we got all the video. I did not unfortunately put the video cameras on when we took off Orange County, New York, not California. <laughs> so, but we, the reason why, because number one, there was fog, low fog. I filed, filed IFR um, and the lights weren't, weren't working right. It was just a big to do at four o'clock in the morning. And I wanted to get out safely and you know stay clear of mountains and follow obviously the departure. Uh, procedures stuff like that at Orange County because it's dark and uh, if you, know, you guys may not know Orange County some do some not but it's farmland it's dark and going into Pennsylvania it's even worse there's trees and it's dark so it was is what it is so I did not put the cameras on plus when it's four o'clock in the morning it's pitch dark and you're not going to see anything uh, so it, it doesn't even matter but we do pick it up in the air I took Joe with me everybody knows Joe so great co-pilot, went through some weather, we went around weather, uh, just a good experience flying out there. And we do long countries like this, uh, it's a great experience for pilots and you know, you know, even co-pilots, vice versa. Uh, and with the Dynon um, screens, the HDXs, Skyviews, and the Avidyne IFD 540 I have in my plane, it just makes it that much more relaxing to know there's the weather, this is what it looks like, this is where it's at, this many minutes ago, and then you visually look at it and you find out what you want to do at that point. Um, ATC, always great like always. So great experience all the way around from taking off, filing, ATC, uh, you know, radio communications at Oshkosh, those guys do a great job. You have 6,000 volunteers, so it's just amazing. It's just the whole thing is just amazing and great experience. And I have to say the Mooney flew great. Uh, about 140 to 145 true airspeed. Uh, unfortunately, going out there, we hit 25 to 50 some spots, not headwinds. My gosh, it was like, okay, when do I go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> so, but we did land twice. We landed to get fuel. We landed, which will be in a video here, we landed before we went over the lake, uh, you know, Michigan. So, and that's a long cross. So, we got out, 
filled back up again in case we had a hold in Oshkosh. Life vests went on and we made the hop over the lake. So Mooney the Great coming back home, we had a 30 knot to 35 knot tailwind at 9,500. Could went higher, got a faster tailwind, but it's fine. So uh, stick around, enjoy the videos. I have a bunch of video I'm trying to put together. I'm gonna have uh, three series of videos, maybe four, depending on how much uh, video I have. I wanna drag it out too long, make it boring for you guys. And we'll figure it all out. But a lot to do, a lot to edit. Uh, real quickly, uh, sorry for the people who ordered on my website, pilotfun101.com while I was away. I, didn't, I did not anticipate the spike of orders for shirts, hats, and so on and so forth. Check it out, pilotfun101.com. I did mail it out today, which is the 1st of August, uh, Monday, 1st of August. I mailed everything out so you guys will get them hopefully in a couple days. I do apologize for delay. I have nobody else home here who can do that for me. So stick around, enjoy the videos, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See ya. Everybody. Say hi, Joe. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, so we are on our way. We filed IFR out of Orange County, and um, we are at 6,000 feet. The Dynon Skyview HDX. Uh, we didn't we didn't uh, video taking off because it was pitch dark, and these things really don't do good in the dark for video, so it's just a waste. Right, Joe? Right. Um, so we are doing good. We are correct. We have a direct flight plan. Uh, to uh, 5 Alpha 1, which was where, Joe? Where was that at? That was just uh, west uh, of... Just west of uh, Toledo. Yeah. Um, so, um, Joe's got the controls, and he's following the boxes with the full PDF, and I have half and half. And everybody knows it's very easy to switch. Right here, screams. Um, like, like, Joe can get that screen back like that, and I have full PFD. And we'll, we'll give Joe the full PFD back. So when you're flying with another pilot, it's awesome to have that feature. And uh, we're doing currently 140 true. We are powered back a little bit. Um, we got a headwind of 24 uh, right down there, which stinks. 140 true, and we're ground speed to 118. Um, and we're at our power settings are 23 and a half and 24. Uh, so we're burning about uh, 10, nine and a half to 10 gallons an hour. D10A back up, we're looking good, IFD 540, and the sun is starting to come up in the east there, behind us, um, so we're getting a little bit of twilight. Joe likes twilight, right Joe? That's right. Do you like twilight? <laughs> uh, so yeah, in a little bit, when it gets a little bit lighter out here, we'll put some cameras on. Ahead. Um, airspace is ahead, we know that. Um, and that's basically what we're seeing right now, we had some fog uh, taking off and stuff like that. And we got, we filed direct, and we got direct at 4 o'clock in the morning. Why not, right? And, um, yeah, that was our play plan. You really can't see too much in the dark. Uh, the GoPros really don't do it much justice in the dark, uh, so. All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. So we still have a 23-knot headwind. Uh, the crosswind's 15. Um, we've got 144, 145 true air speed knots, and then the ground speed is 128 knots. And we're just cruising along here. And Joe has the plane. And the Mooney packed with stuff back there. i tell you one thing, the M20C Rangers hold a lot of stuff, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, your, your uh, being balanced is pretty good in this plane. And your useful load's very good in this plane. I have a friend of mine who has a Mooney 252 Turbo, uh, which is an awesome airplane. Uh, that's a fast bird. You go high over, over weather. And uh, he had to borrow this one time because he did the, the useful load wasn't there for two passengers, him with luggage. So I let him borrow the, you know, you know, I'm a nice guy. I just let him borrow my plane, you know. He's just a nice guy. No, Joe. He could borrow any time, Joe. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah no problem. Oh, but this is the first time the movie is going, and thank you for coming with me, Joe.
You want to uh, switch tanks or wait? All right, we'll do it now. Uh, yeah. Let's see, we have uh, 18 minutes. Yeah, 18 Perfect. minutes to go. Uh, to so your plane before we get into some mess. And then fuel pump's coming on. Yeah, then we'll switch over to the left. Fuel pump, sir, roger. We switched over. Air crash and distress. Bearings 1152, spotting a 270 at the local laser. Uh, we're just gonna, and we're going to act on AKR. Uh, fuel pressure is good. The fuel pump is going off. Fox Alpha Radar Service terminated. Free change approved. You have a great day. And we're good. Yeah, okay, so thanks, John. We're switched over. And let's see, we have, uh, whoop, wrong one. We have 21 gallons on board. We got two hours of flying. November 8, 7 November, two zero miles from off to cross off to at 3000 Clear Street in our now uh, runway 28 approach into the Norwalk Airport. Clear Austin over 2,000 miles, clear for the approach, uh, 8th November. Bring 11.52, 8 miles from Shirk, maintain 3,000 until south with some local out of the clear house, runway 24 right approach. Norwalk County Traffic Cherokee, 77 Bravo Romeo is clear for the north. visual approach, runway 2 Friday if you'd like. Uh, Norwalk. Clear for the visual approach, runway 2 Friday if you'd like. 3,000, so... Two cross off to that 3,000, third straight in our now, runway... Austin, what do you say? Oh, cross off to 3,000, we're third for the approach. Okay. 2,000 miles, third for the approach. Um, right, so it's a step down. 3,000 in off, Sue. 2,500. 2,500 to the next, and then 1,460. Try to keep this here so I can... Yeah, perfect, thanks. There. And I'll follow this, you can follow that. Bearings yeah. Wednesday, two contact tower, good morning. Twelve ground speed. Yeah. It's hard. It's 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 worse down here. Yeah. This is fine. Good visibility. Yeah, we're good. It's one again. It's one of the reasons why I wanted my ticket. My ticket. ticket because. Yeah. It's good to have, because sure. you have that so guy looking at Mike you. Roger, over you know? cleared our nav runway two, crash runway one one approach into Yaga County. We're 18 here. miles uh, from Path Zoo. So you're just cleared for the approach. Once you get off, so you're going to switch over to... Well, he's going to tell me to switch. They, they're supposed to tell you to change, bring the change. Bring, bring the change. Uh, and, you know, if you want to contact them in the air, or cancel IFR in the air or not. Yeah, well, if you have the airport in sight, you can cancel in the air. On the missed approach. Air control airspace, maintain 3,000 direct more. How far is off, Sue, from, from the runway? On approach on 133.7. Stay with me for now. Takes uh, about 10 miles. Yep. Okay, 3,000 direct more, and uh, 3375 confirmed for Delta Mike. 133.95, 95. Thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, all RNAV pro... All RNAV approaches are step downs. Typically, yes. In ILS, you just follow the glide path. Then. Yep. You have vertical and guidance. Vertical guidance and. Um, Looking at March 1289. If you're going to do a step down on an ILS, just do the, the GPS, the RNAV GPS. So oh, whatever you want to do, Joe, we'll do it. Oh, well, if, if they don't have the ILS, we'll make an ILS right. I had somebody. We were on an ILS telling us to step down as we were going. Said, why why, are, we on slope. An why are we on an ILS then? They followed the glide slope down. <laughs> yeah, 14 minutes. Seven minutes for next away. Point. Then we'll go to... Uh, seven minutes to off, Sue? Yes. No, yes. And then the next one would be 24. Drool? Drool. 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 What the fuck? A 31 headwind. Holy shit. Knots. The crosswind's not too bad. That's uh, only four knots, so... Pick the right airport. The right runway. <laughs> These buildups are high. Yeah. It's, it's good. Yeah. All right, land lights on, strobes are on, positioning lights are on, anti-collision lights are on. 
we don't need pedo heat. And uh, we're gonna just go in for the approach. We're clear for the approach. He, he should tell us the frequency change soon, hopefully. And their frequency is one two two eight, right, Joe? We looked at that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. One. Uh, one. One two two eight. We got it right there. We have it to stand by, too. I don't hear anybody there. Nobody's home. Get no more 10 traffic to Cherokee. So, it's on Bar Romeo. It's turning left base for 2 8. Is that, that, like, that sounded like Charlie for a second. Like, is that, is that like an hour airport? What? The left base for 2 8? Yeah. Coming on the, the approach plate now, the plane. Yep. <clears throat> Says you got to turn to 276 to get there. 63 to Mike, establish him down. 2 to Mike, Roger. Oh, here. There it is. All right, so we won't. We'll get to the other side. That's the coming down the other I, way. Yeah. Seven more three to the mic. Report. Oh, no, that's the hold. That's, that's the hold. That's that's the hold. hold. Approach. Approach. Youngson approach. One, three, three, point under five with your alternate miss. Change the visor frequency to approve. Over advisory is over. And uh, Youngson on the go. Go over. Send the traffic here. He's going to send Bravo Romeo. It's clear two eight. Go off. Seven more seven. Remember, put the cancellation in the air. This frequency or on the ground via the telephone. Change the visor frequency to approve as there are no traffic between you and the airfield. Three things are approved, and thank you for 8th of November. We'll let you know. <clears throat> okay, see, so he got to tell you to do a frequency change. So where, where are you going to cancel? Are you just canceled now? Oh, no, no, no. I don't know what's going on yet. Yeah, okay. What, you'll call we on still the ground? Have, or you'll... We still have 17 miles to go. We'll yeah. call on the ground. Okay. No, I'll call him in the air when we get close. So it's yeah, when sure. you see it... Yeah, we'll call him. Traffic, uh, Mooney 6887 November is about 16 miles on the RNAV 28 approach. We're welcome. At the airport, Joe? I don't have it. No, you don't have it in sight yet? <clears throat> no. Fine, it's all you today, Joe. I was hoping to get. I was hoping to get some IMC time. I, I wasn't. Oh, you don't like that? <laughs> don't care, right? All right. As long as you're doing it, it's okay. Actually, my have No, that's not it. I don't think. So I can do a visual. Obviously, you can see. Well, you're ten. Everything. Once you hit that Osu, yeah. you, you'll be ten miles out. Should be in that direction there somewhere. Two miles. And then we're going to go down to 2,500. That, then we'll pass that. We'll do that's the final approach fix. And then we'll uh, go down to 14, uh, 1320 is the minimum there. Okay, so now 2,500. Right, Joe? Yep. Go down to 2,500. Normal traffic, Mooney, November 687, November is about 10 miles out on the RNAP 2 approach. See it. Good in sight? You got a highway there going off there. And That's see it. it, I do see it. Yep. See it to the left out there. Let's, can Let's cancel. Problem. In Cleveland approach, Mooney, November 688, November, we can cancel IFR in here, sir. We have airport in sight. Sounds good. Cancellation of IFR is received. Frost 1200, radar service terminated. Please change proof. Take care. Good day. Thank you for the help. Appreciate it. Eight seven member. Approaching altitude. So anyway, twenty five hundred. 
I'll maintain it to this uh, Cody. Then from there you could go down to 1460. Uh, you can go down to uh, minimums. Uh, which is 1360. 1320. 1320. Got the airport. 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 Got the the final approach fit, I'll even tell you, final approach fits, FAF. What, what lake is here to our right? Lake, uh... Lake Hughes. Lake Erie? Lake Erie. Erie? It's Lake Erie off there to our right. Back plane near Mar, are you on frequency? Yep. We're just about two miles to southeast of you, and we'll, we got you safe. Okay, I'm fixing to go in this field right here, I'll be right here. Very good. Just imagine you're an IMC right now. Maintain your 2500. Yeah. Where are you at? <clears throat> Where we practiced. We're southeast uh, on the other side of the road. The only thing is, when you're a real IMC, it's real. That's right. You guys got, got that in the back of your head that it's not the practice, you know? You put your goggles on. Oh, we're a walk, right? We're a walk. Uh, 26 at 8th of November is now 5 miles on the RNAV 2 8 approach. For a walk. All right, 278. And we can go to minimums. Are we at that jump crew yet? 1320. We're at, we're at a toady. Past it. We go down to... We're good now. At 1320. Just 1320. Slower down. I get gear speed. Yep, that's right, gotta get your gear down. Yep, we got that out. all under control. It slows down. Great, not yet, not yet, not yet. Slow it down, slow it down. We had speed brakes, okay, gear. Okay, good, 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 all right. Sure. So fuel pump's on. Gas, under carriage, mixture, prop, not quite yet. And we go down to minimums. Ops full forward. What's the traffic? Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, and we'll do approach flaps or in and south. What's the traffic? Look how accurate that is. It's good. And we'll do homework. Jump coup is 1.8. Traffic, uh, Mooney, 6887 November is now, what about, three mile final RNAV approach to it. Full stop. PK. What's that? Sure. That's what I'm messing around. Okay, flaps are full. The gasoline, undercarriage, Prop, speed, seatbelts are on. We're clear, obviously, for the approach. We're VFR, technically. We're squawking VFR. We're good. You ready? Get it, get it down. Plenty of places to land here. Look at this. Yeah. For all traffic, Booney 688 Senate member is now short final to a full stop. Approaching minimums. Minimums. They get you down pretty low for this approach. Nothing really. 1320? Nothing here. Holy cow. Nothing here. It's all flat. Yes. A nice 18, 18 knot. Minimums. The minimums right there. I'm crabbing. We have an 18 knot cross, uh, 7 knot cross one. On the left? Yep. Yeah. Put that aileron in and we get a lower pipe, so down and we get a little. What the hell? You got a little crosswind there, huh? A little bit. 
to go camping here. What is this? All right, gear check one more time. Our gear is locked and secure. Leaving altitude. All you, buddy. Thanks, brother. All you. Woo. You're the man, Chris. Uh, uh, fucking turbulent there. Uh, wind sock spinning around. Yeah, I got a tailwind. Yeah, you got direct shear. You got direct wind shear. You got direct crosswind. Wind shear. Wind shear. There's some money there. Gonna have to back tack it soon. Back Open that door, buddy. Thing. Open that door. All right. Oh. All right, we made it to what is this place called? Nor 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 Norwalk. Norwalk. This is the guy that was happy that we were coming here. I think so. There's a tank right there. Yeah. Plenty of fuel. Come on down. Come on down. And when you clear to it. This guy must. Oh, we made it. Um, guys, we're going to get fuel here. Uh, and we'll get you back up in the air and we'll do the takeoff this time. Go in here and try to get behind this. I if I can, I'll be blocking the taxiway now. Oh, right. Nobody's here. I know. See you guys in a bit. Right, Joe? Oh. Or no? Maybe not. Maybe not, Joe. Tell him, see you later. See you later, guys. <laughs> see <ya. laughs> Alright, this guy was landing here. Joe. Why is that guy yelling? Right. Oil pressure. Over the gravel pit for runway 27. 27, take a mic. You go, right now we're for 27, monitor the tower 118.5. The high wing that's a half a mile south of 5th, uh, Rocky Wing. High wing that's a half a mile, just about a quarter mile now, Rocky Wing. It's good, Rock, give me a right turn, right turn over the east west. Somebody's coming in off the left here. Somebody's coming in off the left. We're going to be there. there. Please, that's an amphib. Yeah, there you go. Good job. I'm going to get behind this guy right here. Good job. We're right at almost the intersection now. We're on the left face now for runway 36. Monitor the tower 126.6. Enjoy the show. Thanks. Hey, somebody behind us, no? Thank you. Oh, they're all behind us. This guy here, look. That's him, and that's the guy coming in. All right. We have that We have that gap. So Sorry, cut the corner the railroad oh. tracks. No, we're going to board this. You might need in. to fly the two cuts. Keep your head, head out. Make sure so everything's going to swivel. If you have to go past that, that's fine. I just see that, them two guys uh, right they're there. They're supposed to be left. The, uh, they're again, two aircraft over Fisk right now. Two aircraft over Fisk. Hey, you got to beat this guy. That's right. to the south. You, go, you can make your turn. Not the Canard. The one to the south. Rock your wing. Go good. You're going to 360. Give me a right turn. Join the east-west road. The low wing that just rocked. Join the turn right. Join the east-west road. Canard, you're straight ahead of the rail. 1,800 feet to the gravel pit. You're on runway 27 for the downwind. My low wing is 3-6 uh, on the left face. Monitor the tower. I got the guy in front of us. That, we'll stay at 23, Joe. Yeah, 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 he'll drop you in. 8.5. Good day. Keep your eye out, because... Yep. No, that's the guy in front of us. We got him, so that's that's a mile. Victor, RV-8 is passing a ribbon right now. And I'll pick you guys up as you get closer to Fisk, and I'll call you out and have you rock your wing. Um, Might overtake him because you're too going faster. We need to we gotta get down. For my flight of two Cubs, um, it looks like 3-6 is going to work, but I want you to stay just offset to the left side of the track. Are you going to stay at 23? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. Good. Stay at 23. Just watch for planes yep, and yep. trains and automobiles. The, guy, the guys behind the... Uh, we're good. 
about a half a mile. Right in front of us, there's a guy to the right of him. Yeah. Uh, if you have an ass turn to stay I saw him. He's over here. I see him. Okay, stay at 23. Oh, yeah, this guy's right here. Oh, in front of us. I got the other guy on the right. Everybody inbound uh, on the Fisk arrival, half a mile in trail spacing. Just at 2300, we'll see at 100, we're trying to maintain 130 knots. Yeah, you're good, so 2300. I guess what I'm saying is you can't really have too much Might overtake right these guys, now. but... If you can give me three quarters of a mile, we're probably going to increase that to a mile. Just make sure you're not on top of the aircraft in front of you, please. Is everybody but 500 feet below us, right, Joe? Yep. All right. We're going to overtake some planes, just so you know. Yeah, I know we are. Right now, the arrival starting at the southwest corner of Green Lake. Find an aircraft to follow, similar aircraft characteristics. That definitely helps if you're having an S-turn, and it's probably not going to work. And you're going to have to either pass the one in front of you and make it the spacing, or go back out for resequencing. Cubs, go ahead and start eking okay. back to the right a little bit. Give me like 10 or 15 degrees to the right. I want to tighten you up just, just some. I don't, a little bit too far. I see you. That's perfect right there. Yeah, just um, hang it over a little bit. All right, so you're over Green Lake. I got to go over to the right a little bit more. Two Papa Charlie on frequency. Two Papa Charlie. You up? All right, the helicopter, you're approaching Fisk, right? Yeah, you're yeah, you're right. we're overtaking these two here. The guy below us right here. Okay. Uh, All right, you're, you're good. You're going to overtake him. First helicopter, I want you, as soon as you see that east-west road, to start the right turn towards it. A flight of two Cubs, you see the helicopter off to the right? You're following him. So start that right turn, and you're going to follow that helicopter off to your right. Helicopter, start the right turn for me, please. The Cubs are following you in. Hey, right turn to Hotel Golf. Helicopter, what type are you, please? You're going to go for 2 7 as well. See a plane here? Yeah, see there's a lake. Just keep the spacing on the one in front of you. 130 knots. 130, 135. feet to the gravel pit. And for the right He's down, right there. we're only 2 7. Arrivals into Fisk and plan for runway 27. Seven, 36 good. is going to be taken up by some other stuff. Low wing is half a mile south of Fisk. Rock your wings. The other two arrivals that just went to 27. Monitor the tower 118.5. I see you rocking. Excellent job. Turn right. My low wing that just rocked for me. Turn right. Join the east west road and you're in the left base for runway 36. He's right there. Over, overtaking him. It's coming though. We're going to be uh, 27 only him? shortly. Oh. So okay. I got some side by sides approaching Fisk. I need single file. My 36 arrival. Just make sure nobody, I'll see. Make sure nobody is uh, at our altitude. Because yeah, it's 1,800 not. feet and 90 knots. If you're at half a mile and you're out ripping or beyond, I need you to start spacing out to a mile, please. Ripping and beyond. Some of these guys must be mile. high because. Uh, low wing, half a mile south. We're going to watch them. They're only 300 feet. Rock right. your wing, slow wing over. I'm at 24. I should be at 23. Right. With the strobe. Right. There you go. Good rock. There's only be two. Head over the track. 200 feet. And it's Cessna. Okay. Cessna over fix. Turn right. Turn right. I got you, Rock. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Very good. All right, and I see all the way out to Puckaway Lake. I need a mile and trail now. My Cessna, you're on the left base for 36. Monitor the tower, 126.6. Coming up uh, on the guy here, Sam. Sam, yep, inside. 18.5 and 1,800 feet for the gravel pit. Okay. Enjoy the show. Outside of Ripon, I need a mile and trail now. We're down to 27 only. I'm going to have to break you out if you don't have a mile and trail. I don't have an out for 3.6. So I'm at 27 only now. I just fed my last 36 arrivals. So you got to get a mile and trail for me. However you have to do it. If I have Rubble to do it, you got to go back out. Well, you're okay. Blue and white Cessna, rip on. Copy that. I'll talk to you. You don't have to talk to me. I'm going to give you a call as you get closer to Fisk, please. I've got a, looks like the low wing wig rag. Rock your wings. Low wing wig rag. Maybe yeah, a just, RV. Just, oh, yeah, 24. I'm, I'm a little high. There should here. be somebody you're coming up here somewhere. Yeah, I'm a little high because these guys are a little high. Uh, uh, I don't like 300 feet apart. 
We can do that. Okay, I appreciate right that. You're over the hand. tracks and uh, 1,800 feet to the gravel pit, please. Behind. Twin behind you. The spacing actually looks oh, good. Talking. Twin, rock your wings if you got me, please. Don't see him. Twin, that's a good oh. rock. You're following the RV who's picking it up. We're, we're pretty good with about a mile there. That looks fine. We'll make that work. Sorry, buddy. You up the railroad track, 1,800 feet until the gravel pit. Yeah, that's looking fine. RV perfect there. We got a mile. Thank you for your help. Appreciate that. It's a high approach over. Good, everybody, 600 feet below. Okay, I'm going to call you as you get closer to fix. We're over the puck away transition. We're over the puck away transition. Oh, puck away. You're, you're I'll breaking out to you unless you have an emergency. I'll call the next waypoint. Now, if anybody's in an emergency, uh, call me now. I mean, you're off, you're off your uh, trail. But. Everybody come off at ripping right now. We're too close to get out of a big gang while they're out. I am. That's right in front of the air somewhere. One uh, runway. I need 200 feet below. Like, if you uh, are uh, too uh, close, I need one mile on trail. If you're oh, too close, yeah, I need to do a lap around Rush Lake. Please, I'm about to break you. Uh, I'm about to break you out. So do it uh, for me now before we get up here. You're spending more time in fuel. I need one mile on trail. We're getting in trail to puck away Lake Transition. One mile on trail. If I don't have it up here, I will break you yeah, out. He's 500 feet below. Oh, perfect. That's where he should be. Perfect. So we're landing runway two seven. One mile in trail spacing. One mile in trail. Are these cubs landing here at 3-6? Where do you go? I yeah, lost they them. are. They should be over the tower. Here at 3-6 arrival. Oh, you're going to overtake him. You're going faster than him. Oh, you're, 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 you're not behind us. You're 18-5. Most people, we're the only ones at 2300. And yeah. here yeah. we're landing runway 27. Puck away late. You drop down to 18 feet. spacing. No over-unders, no side-by-side. If you're having an S-turn, you either need to pass the one in front of you to get a mile by the time you get here, or break it off and go find someone else to follow. If you're a little left of course, Chris. Also, uh, okay. leave the arrival south Get there. Okay. As you get closer okay. to this, okay. I'll call you out by type and color and feed you into 2-7. Again, we're going to be looking for a mile and trail spacing. So if you don't have a mile, I'm going to have to send you back out. Approach the 0 2 for your characters southbound out of the area. If you need to do a lap around Rush Lake to get some spacing, that's fine. We just cannot have any over-unders, no side-by-sides, and need a mile and trail. So I need to be behind somebody then, too. Up, to, not up and over, so... You're going to pass? You just passed the guy. Yeah, he's back there. Yeah, so you can get to go to your right hole. You'll, you'll get right to Fisk. Yep. A V P F V I V F I. Oh no, you're heading right towards it. Yeah, I'm heading right towards it. Then we're going from Fisk. He's going to call you soon. Everyone inbound to Fisk. Welcome to Oshkosh. We're going to do a mile in trail spacing. Puck away lake transition. No side by side, no over under. We need a mile in trail spacing. We're landing runway 27 right two now. Seven. Only on runway 27. There's a mass arrival going on at runway 36. We're shut off from that. Should be calling you soon, buddy. Yeah, we can close the fist. It's better at 30, 2300. If your plane can do 130 knots, yeah. That, I think 90 knots is too slow or heavy, too, you know? Yeah, right. I don't know. For the I mean, we'll be fine. A slow flight, not a big deal. Call anybody, yes. So we'll wait till you guys get a little closer to Fisk. Again, looking for a mile and trail spacing on the Easy to call me. transition. So, I gotta look for tracks, too, Joe. So it looks like there's a gaggle right now at Puckaway Lake. If you're at Puckaway Lake and you see him in front of, probably can't see him behind you, but there's a track. if you can see him in front of you there's and you look like right you're maybe there's less tracks. than a mile, you probably are. So you see those you pylons? No, we've got to aim for that, too. For me, you have to do it here. Probably the arrival. You need a mile and trail spacing. I cannot let you go in with less than a mile. Low wing over fist, rock your wings. There's a low wing over fist, rock your wings. There's a low wing right now over a good rock there. You're on runway 27, 1,800 feet all the way to the gravel pit, please. That'll put you on a right downwind for runway 27. Monitor the tower, 118.5. That's it. Speed looks good. Everybody's doing great so far from what I can see out there. Just try to keep that one down mile to in trail oh. facing. One mile. I will pitch right there. Yeah, so you, where is it? Right there in front of us. Those okay. pylons. Sand pit? Yep. Well, gravel sand. Gravel pit? Where? Whatever they do here. Oh, oh these things here. Yep. Approaching. Oh, silos. Yep. I appreciate you cutting over us there, dude. 
Okay. Single file line, one mile in trail. Right, wait for your hands. I got a high wing over a half mile up. Uh, south of Fix, rock your wing. 1800 trail, we're good there. High wing, half mile south of Fix, rock your wing. All right, let's do half or let's do overfist now. Good rock, good job. We're gonna fly the railroad track. Enter right now in for runway two seven over the gravel pit. I need you to pick up ten knots if you can. Ten knots, please. Let's slow down. Slow wing, half mile south of Fix, rock your wings. Great walk, great rock. Spacing looks good. You're going to no go. The other gravel thing. That's one. The gravel pit straight ahead. Oh, I see. That's the gravel pit. That's the one over the gravel pad. For uh, you, I want you to slow it down ten knots if you can. Actually, we're going to slow it down ten knots, and then you are going to go to one, two, or sorry, we're at one one eight point five. Let's get the gear ready. Get that out of the way, Joe. We're not gear speed yet. Clear, brother. Right, eighteen feet. Slow it down. Slow it down, baby. Come on. For 120 miles an hour. There we go. Okay, gear. Gear's coming down. Not, not gas yet. Okay, mixture. The gas. Not, not gas yet. Mixture. All aircraft inbound for fist. We need one mile cool. in This is all part of it, Joe. Over this way. Yeah, all that stuff. They do the camper to come wing, here. Wing, wing, lights. Rock your wing over fist. 1800. My low wing, half mile south of six. Rock your wings. Good rock, great rock. You're the only guy out landing 27, so it's all you, buddy. Right now, nope. went over the gravel pit for runway 27. Nope. Looks like everyone's going to have wig wig lights, so we're going to be a little bit more specific as we continue over the railroad track. Make sure you're one mile apart from the Well, there's somebody on final over the railroad track. If you have a point for water. For reference, okay. if you're at Puckaway Lake, we need one mile. Don't come up until you're at one mile from each other. We don't want to have to send you back. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, dots. For the one that's right over there. <laughs> hey, like the dots, Joe? We'll go to Tower now on <laughs> one, one, eight. Told you it's real. Five. Over the gravel pit. Half mile south, rock your wings. Over the gravel pit. So, beautiful lady, big bag, south of six, half mile south of six, rock your wings. My RV, I believe it's an RV, just about to be over the top of fix now. The gas right. is on, undercarriage locked. Mixture rich, props will forward, we'll put in a All right, locks. good rock RV, that's half mile south of six. I want you to pick it up a little right. bit, 10 knots, please, 10 knots. And then uh, enter a right downwind for that, runway 27 over the gravel pit. Are you using the start yet? That's all planes, all no. over. Wow. Cat, that's not half mile south of six, rock your wing. All right, so let's see if they do my call me, so let's see, uh, let's be quiet here, and, uh... Let's right, just landed 27. Uh, we're going to give you 10 left okay. to get the space, so 10 degrees right. to the left. There's a guy out over the water. Okay. He's out there. Coming in, or is he... He's coming uh, in. RV ahead over here, we can go over to 118.5 one, right now, in for runway 27 over the gravel pit at 1800, please. My Cessna, that was 10 left. Okay. Turn back to the right. We don't want to get no, uh, to the RV. Uh, he's just about over the, over the shore. He's over the down the water yet. Right oh, that's him. That's him. Yeah. 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 Kodak, thank you, Kodak. Right turn. Or right no, turn no, over no, the no. railroad track. You want to yeah. right down with over the gravel pit. 1,800 feet. Oh, and you go to the tower. One one eight five five. Keep that spacing. Nice job. Cessna, half mile south of this. Rock your wings. Hi, brother. High wings, Cessna, south of this. Rock your wings. My high wing that's right behind the Kodiak. Yep. Here you go. Hey, right, brother. Skyhawk over the gravel pit. Start your descent and I'll call your base turn for runway 27. Sorry, the Mooney is up. Green or white Mooney. Green or white Mooney, you going over the shore now? Turn your base. Turn your base. Okay, thanks. Bring it all the way in, straight into the numbers and uh, the green dot, runway 27, clear to land. Green, I green dot, bro. I forgot to turn. Approaching altitude. I forgot right, to turn. Skyhawk in midfield downwind. Turn your base, turn at the orange dot, green dot, runway 27, clear to land. I heard on the second other frequency. You know what, this guy is... Zero Lima Lima. Keep it up and all the way down to the green dot now. Green dot, clear to land 27. Clear to land, green dot, clear to land. It's just got here. Many in the base turn. There's a Skyhawk on a base at the orange dot. They're going to land green dot. And for the Mooney, uh, orange dot now, runway 27, clear to land orange dot. Orange dot. Good. All right. Let's gas on the merge. Mixture of prop speed. 500. Hey, right, Joe, here's off dot, buddy. There it is, buddy. Green 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 you can turn final all the way down to the green dot, clear to land. He's green dot. See how we're right. lane lane up. Thanks for the help. You can turn right as soon as you can on the surface. One mile level. You're orange dot. Another guy in here. In the downwind, I'll call your base turn for traffic follow. Thanks to the green dot landing on runway 27. Check that out. You can't get this off.
But no, they do that. Like I'm oh, down sitting on the green dot. I'm orange. Okay. All right, let's focus. I watch this guy here. Uh, I'm really short. Yeah, they're not doing it. Skyhawk, good job. Thanks for the help. You can turn right off into the grass and follow the flagman. Traffic. RV base beam the orange dot, green dot, clear to land runway 27. Mooney, you can fly all the way down to the green dot now. Mooney, all the way down to the green dot, clear to land. RV over the gravel pit, start your descent, base Traffic. turn at the orange dot, green Traffic. dot, runway 27, clear to land. High, less than one mile, Everyone. level. Everybody, it'll be right turns off the runway now, right turns to the north. Exit the yeah. runway. Good, buddy. Thanks for the help, Manny. Okay. Hey. Oh, oops. Well, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> 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 I'm going to turn right. 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 I'm going